everyone, welcome back to Art Impressions Watercolor Wednesday. This is Kendra Krebs, guest designer this week, and I am bringing you this really fun Christmas inspired card. And we are gonna be using the Art Impressions Watercolor stamps to create these three beautiful ornaments. So let's get started. Uh, for this project, I'm gonna be using the Art Impressions Clear Stamp Set, the J-O-N-Y as well as these little dots, um, but this is just a small part of it. So if you don't have these, that's totally fine. You can stipple using your Tombow or whatever uh, water-based marker you have. And then from the mini cabin set, I'm gonna use this little guy right here. Although any of those cabins would be cute. And then the watercolor tree set, this one right smack dab in the middle, as well as the watercolor fur tree set, and it's just gonna be these two right here. So uh, other items I'm gonna be using are is the Molotov, which as you can see, I've already done here, as well as the Versamark, which I used for the um, Joy, the embossing for the Joy. Okay, so let's get started. I did the really simple part first. So I used the Art Impressions Circle and Oval die sets to cut out uh, the little shapes from the sticky paper. So this is sticker paper from, um, I believe it's Inkadoo. Um, I can check, but I'll link that below. And then um, the obviously the Molotov marker here. So this does take a few minutes to dry, so I went ahead and did it uh, to begin with. So let's go ahead and get started. And you may see me kind of pushing this down to reinforce the adhesive as we go. And that's just because the watercolor paper is textured and it tends to kind of lift sometimes. So if this is a problem for you, you can always just die cut out the ornament from the watercolor paper and then not deal with sticker paper at all if you want to do that. Totally fine. All right, so we're going to grab our little structure and anytime we're doing snow on a structure, we don't want to ink the, the top of the roof or the base here because it's going to kind of be sitting in the snow and we're going to have some snow. Um, it's not going to be an even line up here. It's just going to kind of be piled up on top. So I'm going to use the 565 and go ahead and come in and just begin to ink these areas here. And I'm gonna get the windows and the sides, but I'm not gonna get the top or the bottom inked. Okay, so now that I've got that inked, I'm gonna come in and just stamp it in here. It doesn't need to be perfect, that's totally fine. And I'm gonna take my brush and begin to pull out some of these little eaves. I want this to be dry when I come back to it because these areas are gonna be nice and dark. So I'm gonna do this before I add the snow to my rooftops. Okay, so that I can come back in and layer. So I'm gonna take that detailed tip um, of the 565, same color I used to stamp this, and I'm just going to do a small little pile up of snow on top here. And that's gonna be piled as well. And then I'm gonna do just a little line kind of here where the snow is gonna be sitting. So on that one and then also here. Okay, now I'm gonna take my brush again and on these lower areas, I'm gonna pull out that color and just kind of get that going. Pull out this color. Ignore the little dots that you made earlier. Those are gonna be snow or stars. If you want the stars to be up here, you know if they're stars, you're just gonna leave them up here. If they're snow, then they can kind of fall lower. Um, it's totally up to you. So I'm gonna use the uh, same color, that 565. And then I'm also going to grab a little bit of the 969 just because I like how these two colors blend. I'm going to use mostly blue, a little bit of brown, and that's going to give me kind of a grayish tone for my roof because I want this to differentiate from the rest of the little cottage. So I'm going to come in here. And that's my little rooftop. Okay, just like that. 
and then I'll come in and just add this little shadow in there, okay? So I'm gonna come back in with a little bit of 565 and just darken both this side little uh, roof here and the side of the cottage because these two are pointing in the same direction and they're both gonna be darker. So I want that nice and dark, both of those, okay? Now I am going to take my brush and I'm gonna pull in some of that 565. It's gonna be mostly 565 on this project because it's, it's snow. So you're gonna be using mostly that blue. And I'm gonna bring a little bit of that in there and then I'm gonna use the 993 and I'll put this 993. It's just the littlest a bit here um, for the windows. So I'm just, I'm not filling in the whole window. When you do yellow as if there's a light on inside, you don't want the whole window to be yellow. You just want to do a little bit. Otherwise it's, it's kind of flattens it out a little bit. So you just want to, I kind of just do the corner. And then if I want it to be a little bit darker, then I can come back in with my detail tip and darken it up just in that area. Okay. And now I'm going to put in some of my snow with the 565, you guessed it. <laughs> and I'm going to take this snow and I'm going to just do a little hill right back here with that snow. And then I'm also going to do a little bit of a hill on this edge. And I'm just going to kind of bring that out. Same thing here, okay? And this is a good guide for us. We can change this if we want to. We can soften it, we can add shadows, but this is a nice guide for us to move with. Okay, so now I am going to start adding in my little trees. Okay, so I'm just gonna push that down again because we're gonna need that to be nice and tight when we put in our trees and our sky and everything. So I'm gonna take that and you guessed it, 565 again. And actually I think this has some green on it so I'm gonna stamp this off. Nope, not too bad. So I'm going to just ink that, basically that top half. And I'm going to start to stamp these in. Now if you wanted to uh, mask this little snowy knoll, you totally can. I didn't obviously, but um, I work with these a lot. So I'm pretty good at kind of knowing where they're gonna land. But if you're new with these trees, I would suggest just starting off with um, a mask here because it is it is kind of hard to um, know where you're stamping sometimes. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little mask on my house here. So I can stamp the trees behind. And that again is the sticker paper. So I'm just going to stamp these little trees behind. These projects can be so quick or you can spend a good amount of time on them, whatever you wanna do. And I'm gonna take that off now. So now I have my little trees behind and I'm gonna take my brush and start dabbing. So I don't wanna dab everything. I just wanna dab some of it, most of it maybe. And I'm gonna come down to the little knoll here. Okay. And I'm gonna go right up to that edge that I drew for the snow. And we'll just bring this up. And we'll bring this back below. Okay, so do you see how that kind of sits up right next to the snow? And I'm going to blend in that line just a little bit more. And you can see sometimes there's a little line here that's left, that's okay. Um, it'll kind of blend out. All right. And so now we've got our little house. And then I'm gonna take one of the little branches here and I'm gonna ink this in the 565 and just put some little branches out front for the foreground. 
and you can do this however you want and make sure to stamp over the cottage because the cottage is going to be set back so that'll just help it sort of look like it's set back and um this is in the foreground here okay i'm not going to touch too much of it just a little bit to blend it in and you can see why i need that edge to be nice and tight okay all right so now i'm going to take that 565 and a little bit of if i can find it because i don't have it near me <laughs> a little bit of the n25 so this is the n25 and i'm going to mix just a little bit of that 565 with the n25 to give me a nice dark blue it's going to just darken that blue up and I'm going to start up in here and just begin to dab. And this is going to be my sky, of course. And I don't want to get too close to those trees, but I do want it to look connected. But I don't want them to be the exact same, which is why I sort of added in that N25. It kind of changes the tone a little bit too, to separate the trees. Okay. Take a little bit of that, just 565, and I'm just dabbing, just so that it's not a perfect sort of wash of color. You want things to kind of have some darker areas and some lighter areas. So we're just gonna put this first layer in and we'll come back and darken up the edges just a bit more. But I'm just sort of moving in between the trees and then maybe I'll grab some of that 565 again, just plain and sort of put it in here. Okay, so I'm gonna come back in to my snow and just sort of reinforce this line a little bit. It doesn't have to be too much because it is snow. So really we're just putting in the shadows um, of the snow. And then I will take my Twin Tone. This is my little Tombow Twin Tone. And I'm gonna use just that detail tip to put in some of the darker areas here. And I'm just going to darken up. This makes it look really rich. Just, it helps that contrast so much. And I just, I love that. When the contrast is nice and dark. Okay, so we're making progress here. I'm gonna bring in a little bit of this, just kind of under these trees. You could put little dots in here if you want to. It's up to you, however you wanna do it. Okay, now I'm going to take my brush again and just sort of soften these lines just a touch. And just kind of bring that in. And then we'll come back into this area up here with the N25 and a little bit of the 565. And just around that very top region, we're gonna put nice dark color in. Just like so. Okay. And then I'm gonna take my brush and just do a little bit of this 565. And I'm going to kind of just come around because we didn't put anything over here. So I do want to um, close the loop of this um, little oval so that when I take off the sticker paper, you can still see that this is part of the ornament. You can do this or not, it's up to you. You can leave it white and kind of let it speak for itself. Or you can do this and you don't need a lot. Okay, so before I take this off, I'm just gonna let this dry on its own. And then at the end, we'll come back and we'll put in our little white dots for the snow and we'll take off this Molotov, okay? So I'm gonna set this one to the side and then we're gonna start with our other two. And we'll do the Christmas tree first. 
So the Christmas tree is really, really simple. These two are actually really, really easy. It just takes one stamp. So the stamp I'm gonna use is the other side of the little branches, okay? And this whole thing, the tree and the wreath, is just this stamp. And um, number 249. So I'm gonna take this, and you can see I kind of did my Molotov dots in the shape of a tree. So I'm just gonna start by putting in my little branches here and just kind of following the lines of my Molotov. And I'm gonna move this around and you can see I'm just inking just the, this little bit. You don't need all of it. And sometimes stamping all of it, you can kind of lose control of where your stamp is going. So I'm just going to kind of come around here and put these in. And same thing over here on the next little row, all the way across. So I'm just doing layers and each layer is gonna go a little bit further out than the previous layer. So this is gonna almost go all the way to the edge there. I'm gonna bring a little bit down. And same thing down here. So that one is gonna go to the edge. And every Christmas tree is gonna be a little bit different. This one looks nothing like my previous one and I love it because they're all unique. Just like you and I, right? Okay. And then I'm going to put the little center little piece in just like that. So that's my little tree. And I'm probably going to fill in some areas in the center just to kind of connect everything. But I do like using the same branch for this. It's just, it's just easier to kind of manipulate this. And you sort of learn how to use it when you're using the same stamp. You, it's really easy to be like, okay, I'm, you know, I'm familiar with this stamp. I can kind of guide it where I want it to go. Okay. So... Now I'm going to do, since I'm using this one already, I'm just going to go ahead and go around my little joy here with my wreath. And this joy always reminds me of my niece Kendall because her middle name is Joy and this season is just such a reminder of what a blessing she is. And of course my other nieces, but their middle names are not Joy. <laughs> and actually, my other niece's middle name is Noel, so this season reminds me of her as well. <laughs> so, so sweet. I love being an auntie. Okay, I'm just going to keep kind of moving around, and I, I really want to make sure all the, the blue dots that I put in, they're covered. Because if they're not covered, then nothing's going to happen when I remove them. They're just going to be white on white. So you're not going to see where they were unless they're covered in the ink. So I'm just kind of moving around. This is super easy. Okay, now I have my little wreath and actually I want just one little spot right there. Anyone else recovering perfectionists? I always say it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm also speaking to myself. Okay, so get your brush and we are going to begin to dab our little tree. So I'm just going to start dabbing and following the lines of the tree here, just like this. And this would be a really cute, like Charlie Brown tree um, project as well. Like, wouldn't that be cute? Totally sparse little tree on an ornament, I think would just be adorable. Okay. And I'm going to keep going down just like this. Who is going to be making their own Christmas cards this year? Raise your hand, leave me a comment, an emoji, whatever you want to do if you're making your own cards. Give me some ideas because I'm thinking about doing them again this year and I'm like, I mean, some of you know I've been like absent for the last couple of months and I really want to get back into the creative spirit and so I would love some ideas on what you guys are doing for Christmas cards. 
Um, I really, really would love to, to get back into it um, and be able to do some this year. And I haven't been able to the last couple of years. Um, I just think it would be just a blast. So give me some ideas. I need you. Okay, so now I have my little tree um, done and then I'll just come in and do, I'm gonna make sure that's nice and tight. I'm gonna do my little ornament or my little wreath here and just dab all around. Make sure you get right up to the edge of that sticker paper so that you get a nice clean edge when you pull it off. Okay. Oh, and by the way, this um, embossing powder is from Sparkle and Sprinkle, and this is called the Gold Tinsel. So Sparkle and Sprinkle, you can check them out. They've got a ton of really fun embossing powders. They've got just tons of fun stuff over there, so check them out. But this is, this is their powder, and I used it with the Versamark. Okay, so... I am going to just dab, dab, dab all around here. And I have now completed my dabbing for this part, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and remove my little Molotov dots from my tree, because this is dry now. Make sure this is dry, please, before you do this. Um, you do not want to run into any issues with wet watercolor paper and trying to pull off your Molotov, you're not gonna be happy. It's gonna be a sad day. Okay, now that I have that off, I'm gonna use the 969 and go ahead and put in my little trunk here. It's just a little bit of a base there. You can leave that off or put it on, whatever you wanna do. And now I'm going to begin to put in my colors. So I'm gonna use the nine, uh, this is the 993. Same one I used earlier. And I'm just gonna pick a couple little spots to put these colors. This is kind of the fun part where you can be like, I mean, it's all fun, let's be real. But you can kind of be like, oh, I want you know, a yellow here or a purple here. And this one is 173, but you can use any, I don't know if we carry this one, but you can use any uh, just bright green, like limey green color. Okay, obviously I'm gonna do my red. So we're gonna do the 856. Gotta have the red in here, right? So this is the 856. And don't feel like you have to put, um, you know, an equal amount of colors. If you run out of these little bubbles, that's fine. You just put them next to the other colors. Oh, this one is 636. This is that really beautiful purple. Okay, and notice I'm leaving a little highlight in the center of these, right? So they're not all filled in. And this is the 565 again. Okay, maybe I'll put another one out here. And maybe one, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I leave it? I always tend to overdo, but I like to overdo, so you know. Who else likes to overdo things? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this using the 993. I'm gonna put just this little dots up at the top, and that's where the bow will go. So I just kind of liked to have this as a background for the bow. Um, you know, again, you can use this stamp or not. This is the one I said, eh. Have it or not, totally fine. Okay, so I'm gonna take that 969 again and just do a little bit, and actually I want the detail tip here just to kind of pull that together. And then I'll put another little stamp over the trunk, just so the trunk can kind of be buried a little bit more. I like it to kind of look like it's not just, you know, random. Okay, so now we're gonna add our ink to, or our water to this part up here. Our little topper. And we will add 
our little string. So this is just a micron pen. And I'm just going to add a little string in here. You know, this doesn't have to be like perfect. And we'll just kind of move it around in here. And essentially you're just connecting the dots. It's really, really easy. So just connect the dots there. And then if you wanna go back in and add, you know, a few more, you totally can. I'm not going to actually, I think I'm just gonna leave it as is and just kind of let that be. And then this one, I'm going to, now that it's dry, this is also cute, just leaving it white. So you can just leave, isn't that cute? Just like that, I love that. But we're gonna do the red. So this is the 856 again, and I'm just doing red throughout. These are just all gonna be red. And we'll go here again, I'm trying to leave a highlight if you can. Some of them may not have one, that's fine. Okay. And we'll do one here and one here. Just gonna move all the way around. Just like that. Cute, aren't these cute? Okay, so I'm going to, oh, we forgot this guy. So I'm gonna pull these off now that this is dry. Okay, so we've got our little snowflakes and these are kind of big. So I'm gonna use the little uni ball. So this is Signo, Signo uni ball. And I'll just put a couple extra little dots in here just because those Molotov ones can be pretty big. And I like to have just a little bit of extra here. So I'm just gonna move around and I'll get this closer up so you can see it. And you can see all the little ones that I put in now. All right, so I'm gonna go cut these out using the same dies that I used to cut out the sticker paper and I will be right back to show you the final results. Okay, so here are the final little um, ornaments for our project today. I hope that you enjoyed this and all you would have to do is just um, put them on your card. These two I popped up using pop-ups um, and then of course the little wire ribbon here for the um, little bows. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you try it, let me know. Um, check out the Art Impressions Instagram page as well as subscribe. Um, so happy to have you here if you're already a subscriber and if you're not go ahead and click that subscribe button if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up um, and stick around for future videos. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!